Today, we've got a dosimeter. Two of them, actually. We're gonna check out this nuclear radiation detector. First look at it, see if it works, get it out of the box, test it out. This episode brought to you in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts, and assembly, as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. Okay, we'll take a look at this, and hopefully, well, hopefully it works as intended. On the box, this is interesting. This is uh, my first kind of red flag. The, it's marketed as an ion detector. Now, this is going to become painfully obvious why they're doing this in a video that I'm about to publish. So, uh, stay tuned for that. GMC 300E. So, this came directly from Amazon. Comes with a quick start guide. If you've seen my previous videos, you've seen my, my SOEX dissimeter. This uh, straight out of Russia at the time when I got this and a wonderful unit. The Russians know something, uh, know a thing or two about radiation meters. <laughs> so, nice little instruction book comes with a USB cable blah 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 driver and software cool I'm gonna need that and then we're gonna see what we can do with the with the software setup and see if we can uh, see if we can actually interface this to uh, to a PC interesting so in the package it came well enough packaged oh, yeah, it's got this kind of silky sealed up <laughs> make a mess of that okay it comes with a, a nuclear radiation safety guide so uh, microsieverts per hour so 0 0.03 to 0 0.33 the normal background here at my home is 0 0.08 to 0 0.09 at all times so it, uh, it doesn't fluctuate much at all except uh back when uh, uh when fukushima was really belching out a mess and the jet stream would come down directly through uh from the arctic through ontario uh, i was able to pick that up pretty clearly and uh, significantly higher background radiation so in here we've got a little lithium ion 14500 800 milliamp hour 3.7 volts so very cool and see if we can power it up. Boom. Now, how... I'm just gonna have to get familiar with it and then pick this up. There's my receiver tonight. That's what I'm looking for. 0, 0.00. That was no good. Ah, there we go. Give it a minute to average out the background. Nice loud pulses. My, my SOX, um it's really, really quiet, so we'll let this settle out and see what we get. So it's been settling out for a few minutes here, and sure enough, I'm getting the same levels that I get with my SOEX unit, 0 0.07, 0 0.08. Uh, I just fired this up, so it's going to read a little bit higher until it averages out. It takes some time for these things to work out the averages, but... I think we're we're gonna be really close to each other, so that's good news. That uh, that tells me that we've got something in the ballpark. It's unlikely that both of them are gonna be off and incorrect. So odds are we're pretty close, and and obviously it's gonna wax and wane a little bit. As you heard, two ticks there. Maybe if my mic picked it up, that's gonna bring the average up. There there it is. And then this one is coming down as expected. So we're going to kind of up, down, up, down in between the two of them. And if I move some dust around in here and stuff, we might just pick up a little bit more. But uh, there we go. We're, uh, we're in business. So, so far, so good. Um, definitely a lot bigger unit. And uh, whether it's any better or worse i'm not sure you can see the detection tube down in there um pretty much the exact same as this the detection tube is right there the high voltage tube and yeah we're 
We're driving out. Okay, let's hit it with a radiation source. Okie dokie. Let's hit them both. Actually, let's just hit this one. So, <laughs> yeah. So, inside here is simply a piece of Fiesta Ware dishware. I'll put across the screen what this stuff is. Uh, it's They're no longer selling radioactive dishware anymore. They are still in business as far as I know, but as you can see, this stuff is radioactive. It, uh, it's probably going to start chirping real good now because we're going to get up into the danger zone. Uh, I forget what this stuff peaks out at, but uh, it's a significant amount. So you don't want to be eating this stuff. You really don't want to be eating off of it. You don't want it on your skin. Uh, you just you don't want anything to do with it. But it's good for uh, it's good for checking out Geiger counters. So sure enough, we're up to one six three and still climbing. So it's upset at me. This is. What does our, our safety guide say? So, uh, mic receiver, it's an hour. So, so we're in the, the high level range, greater than 0.65, high level, closely watch the reading, find out why. Basically, uh, you, you, you don't, don't want to be around. You, if, if your environment is this radioactive, you're in, you're in bad news bear, sir. This exposure would not be good for you. So if we stick our other one on here, oops, I think I jostled the battery. So if we, actually, batteries might be dead. Might have to, huh, what do you know about that? Me battery is as dead as that's what happens when you have uh, rechargeable batteries in there, but don't charge them before your video shoot. So we'll, that'll take just a minute to come back online. We'll hit them both kind of in the same zone here, and then we'll, we'll see what we get. And it's already at 1.38. Very poor speaker in it, but in this one, uh, we're not picking up anything unless we're right over top of it which is understandable because that's a pretty small sample like it's not like this room is radioactive so uh, we'll just see what we get here so I've, I've got a reading greater than 10 microsieverts an hour uh, just fluctuating right around the 10 mark and where is that detection tube again so on this side, let's set that up. Let's see if let's see if we set that on that side. If that makes a little bit of a difference, let's see if we can get a little bit more representative reading closer to the other one. Yeah, we're already heading significantly higher now, so we're already up over two. Yeah, it's going to climb now. So because of the sheer size of my my Fiesta wear shard, got to make sure that it's lined up with the lined up with the high voltage tube. Yeah, we're trending trending up the right direction now. 4.68 4.92. Yeah, we're we're getting up there. I wonder how <laughs> <laughs> How grumpy this thing's gonna get <laughs> we get up to like 10 microsieverts an hour. So greater than 6.5, very high. Leave there ASAP. Find out why. Yeah, I know why it is. I've got a broken piece of dishware from the 1950s underneath it. So looks like we're gonna level out around the seven and a half mark. Uh, it's pretty much I'm not perfectly lined up down below, but you get the idea. I think we're in good shape. This thing's working. The two mm, somewhat agree. I'll maybe do some more tests and over time and see see what's up and down with this thing. But I think we can at least trust it to detect what's there. <laughs> if if we have a, a serious amount of radiation in our area we're going to pick it up, which is exactly what we want out of a dosimeter. We want to know 
is our, is our area uh, in trouble. And you can actually see this one's picking up a little residual from here. So I'm going to put this thing, put this stuff back away where it belongs. And I think we're good. I think, uh, I think it's time to proceed to some more testing. And I'll test this thing out and we'll see if we can get to, see if we can get some readings to the PC. So I downloaded the software and sure enough I was able to get it to work through a USB connection no issues whatsoever. It displays the values out over time with a nifty graph but it does nothing other than that unless you pay for a version of this. You can't do data logging. Pretty sure we could make something with an Arduino. I bet you the serial data is probably decodable and we could just store it to SD card or something. but. As it sits, I don't see any use for the computer connection whatsoever unless you unless you make your own software or pay for theirs. Anyway, if you like what I've done here, if you like these videos, please consider clicking a thumbs up, join me on Patreon, or become a channel member down below. Uh, lots of fun projects coming up and a kind of a neat one for this unit. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. <laughs>